this tutorial on how to play Wilson by Fall Out Boy. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo in this tutorial. We're going to learn all these chords. We have an F sharp 5 chord, a B5 chord, a C sharp, a D minor, D sharp minor, and a B minor chord. So we're going to start out by learning those chords, and then we're going to go over the strumming pattern and the progression. Um, but if you already know how to play those chords, go ahead and skip a little bit ahead here. For our F sharp chord, we have our index finger on our second fret, the low E. Our ring finger is going to be over here on the fourth fret of the A string, and our pinky is on the fourth fret of the D string. And you want to just play those top strings. It helps if you can mute these bottom strings with your index finger. Okay, so that's your F sharp chord, and then to get to your B. 5 chord, you're just going to drop each finger down one string, so now your index finger is on the 2nd fret of the A string, ring finger is on the 4th fret of the D, and your pinky is under on the 4th fret of the G string, and again you kind of want to mute those strings with your index finger if you can. So those are the two main chords that is used throughout the song. Um, but if we shift that same shape up, we have our C sharp 5 chord. You're on the 4th fret with your index now, and these two fingers are now on the 6th fret. And then if you want to shift that up to the 6th fret with your index finger, and your pinky and ring finger now are on the 8th, and if you want to add your middle finger here to the 7th fret of this B string, which is the 2nd string up, that's your D sharp minor. And then if you slide this whole shape down here to the 2nd fret, we have a B minor, which is very similar to the B5 chord we had a second ago, but now your middle finger is off, or it's on, sorry. It's on for the B minor, and off for your B5 chord. So those are chords. Now we're going to go over the chord progression itself. So this is what's played throughout the majority of the song here. our B5 chord. Same strumming. Back to your F sharp. At the end of that strumming on the B, you're going to strum one more time, and you're going to slide up to your C sharp, slide up to your D minor, D sharp minor, and then we're going to do the same thing, strum again, slide back to your C sharp, and now you're going to go to your B, you're going to strum on your B one more time, and then you're going to add your middle finger for your B minor, and then it jumps right back into the normal progression of F sharp. back and forth for a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and show you one more time what that little um, other progression sounds like. So B, C sharp, D minor, and then it goes D minor, C sharp, B, and you add your middle finger for your B minor. And then it goes back to your typical progression. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. I went through that all pretty quickly, so if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.